All marks are the real mark. The real mark is unmarked, with nothing unmarked. It is also with it is without marks, and also without any non marks. It is neither without marks nor is it marked by no marks. While in the midst of marks, one should not hold on to marks, for they are not the real mark. True suchness, the one true drama real, the first common straw natural. All are different names for the real mark. Clarifying the principle, unless you understand the sutra's doctrine and objective, you will not understand its principles. So now we will examine the one by means of the other. It is just like knowing a person's name and then discovering his occupation. The principles of this sutra are faith. Vows and practice holding the Buddha's name. These are the three prerequisites of the Pure Land Dharma Door. One who goes on a journey takes along some food and a little money. One who wishes to go to the land of ultimate bliss needs faith, vows, and the practice of holding the Buddha's name. Faith. Faith is the first prerequisite. For without it, one will not make the vow to be born with Amitabha in the pure land of ultimate bliss, and thus will not realize the objective of this sutra. You must have faith in yourself, the land of ultimate bliss, cause and effect, and nomina and phenomena. What does it mean to believe in oneself? It is to believe that you certainly have the qualifications necessary to be born in the land of ultimate bliss. You should not take yourself lightly and say, "I have committed to so many offenses, I can't be born there." If you have a heavy offense karma, you now have a good opportunity to take it with you to the land of ultimate bliss. Regardless of the offenses you have committed in the past, if you change your mind and reform your conduct, you may be born there, offenses and all. Taking your karma up to the pure land refers to past karma, however, not to future karma. Once you have understood the drama, offenses should cease. If you continue to offend, you will absolutely. Not be reborn in the land of ultimate bliss. You may recite the Buddha's name and bow to the Buddha, but you only will only be making investments in future Buddhahood. You will not, in this life, be born in the land of ultimate bliss because you clearly understood and yet deliberately violated the rules of the Dharma. Before taking refuge with the triple jewel, doing things which are not in accord with the drama may be excusable, but to continue such behavior after taking refuge increases the gravity of one's offenses. Knowing your error, you must truly change your faults and say, "I most certainly can be reborn in the land of ultimate bliss." Secondly, you must have faith in the Western land of ultimate bliss, which is hundreds of thousands of millions of Buddha lands from here. Before he realized Buddhahood, Amitabha Buddha, as the Bhikkhu Dharma Treasury, vowed to create a land where living beings who recited his name could be born. There is no need to do anything else. It's easy, simple, and convenient. It doesn't cost a thing. And yet, this dharma door is the highest and most supreme. For if you just recite Namo Amitabha Buddha, you will be born in the land of ultimate bliss. It is also necessary to believe in cause and effect, to believe that in the past you have planted good roots, which have caused you to encounter this dharma door of faith, vows, and holding the Buddha's name. Without good roots. No one can encounter this or any other dharma door. But just as in planting the fields, if a farmer doesn't nourish and irrigate the fields, he won't reap the fruit. So believe that in the past you have planted 
the causes of body, which in the future will bear the fruit of body if you just nourish the root. You may think, you tell me to believe in cause and effect and to believe that I have good roots, but frankly, I don't think I do. How can you tell whether or not you have good roots? People often ask me to tell them whether or not they have good roots, but I tell them to tell me if I have good roots. They say, I don't know if you do, and I answer them, then how should I know about you? But I do have a method to teach you how to find out. You have met the Buddha Dharma because you have good roots. Without them, you would not have had this opportunity. Granted, I have met the Buddha Dharma, you say, but is it possible that I have no good roots? If you lack them, plant them. If you don't plant them, you will never have any. Whether or not you have good roots is no great problem. The question is whether or not you will plant, nourish them by cultivating according to Dharma. For example, the Buddha Dharma teaches, teaches you not to drink, but you would risk your life to do it. Drunk, with your head confused and your eyes blurry, your brain feels as if it were going to split open. This is to walk down the road of stupidity. The Buddha Dharma teaches you to not to steal, but even if your life were not a stake, you'd steal. One who truly cultivates according to Dharma does not lie, drink, steal, kill, or commit acts of sexual misconduct. Obey the, the Buddha and refrain from evil. Do not think that minor faults are unimportant, but it's just the minor faults that drag one into the house or into the paths of hungry ghosts or animals. Believe then that you have good roots and that in the future you will reap the fruit of body. Finally, one must have faith in the phenomena and the nomina of the Amitabha Sutra. The specific phenomena is this. Amitabha Buddha has a great affinity with us and will certainly guide us to Buddhahood. The nominal principle is this. We know the great affinity exists because without it, we would have not met the Pure Land Dharma Door. Amitabha Buddha is all living beings, and all living beings are Amitabha Buddha. Amitabha Buddha became Amitabha Buddha by reciting the Buddha's name, and if we recite the Buddha's name, we too can become Amitabha Buddha. We should cultivate according to the phenomenal and the nominal principles. The Avatam Saka Sutra speaks of four Dharma realms the Dharma realm of unobstructed phenomena, the Dharma realm of unobstructed nomina, the Dharma realm of nomina and phenomena unobstructed, the Dharma realm of all phenomena unobstructed. Considering the four Dharma realms and speaking from the standpoint of our self-nature, we and Amitabha Buddha are united in one and therefore we have the qualifications to realize Buddhahood.